we want to switch gears and speak with Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton, who is coordinating the relief efforts uh, in Haiti. Good morning, Madam Secretary. Good morning, Maggie. We have heard all morning long from people in Haiti who, who just want help, and they're frustrated that it, had, it has been slow in arriving. We've also heard about uh, the many U.S. resources that have been deployed to Haiti. Can you tell the people there and their relatives watching here in this country when you expect these resources will start to, to make a difference there? Well, they already are. Uh, you know, the president um, ordered a swift, coordinated, aggressive response, and that's exactly what we've been doing. But let me just give you a, a sense of what we're up against. Uh, the airport lost its air traffic control uh, system, and of course it was damaged. Uh, in order to get the airport up and going so we can land the kind of heavy planes with the massive amounts of aid that is needed, we had to send in a military team to uh, get the airport running. That has been accomplished. Uh, you heard about how the port uh, has been damaged. That uh, is a big problem because that prevents us from getting our ships in. Uh, we have a team working on that. We also have our uh, crack uh, search and rescue teams uh, from uh, FEMA and USAID, uh, from Fairfax County, from Miami-Dade, uh, from LA. Uh, they're already there on the ground. The Fairfax County team has been uh, working. We've got uh, the 82nd Airborne coming in. The Coast Guard has been magnificent. You know, the, the depth of it uh, and the extent of it is just uh, unimaginable, as Katie and others are telling you. Uh, and depending upon where you are, uh, you may or may not see the results of this coordinated effort. But we're working closely uh, with the Haitian government. The president was safe, but many parts of his government are unaccounted for. They have no communication system. Uh, we're bringing the communication system so they can start to talk to one another. We're working with the United Nations, which was responsible for coordinating aid, which, as you know, has been devastated with an enormous loss of life. Yeah. So I think the American people can be assured uh, that we're doing everything we can to help the PD people of Haiti. And it's not just for the you know, days ahead with the terrible crisis of search and rescue. It'll be for months and years ahead as we help them rebuild. I know you've also been uh, successful in getting some Coast Guard choppers in there and airlifting some injured Americans with 45,000 Americans living in Haiti. Do you have any idea how many Americans were lost or injured in this earthquake? No, I mean, the, the, the hopeful news is that we don't have many reports yet. We've had a, a, a good outreach. It's called the Warden System, run by the State Department. Our ambassador and his team is on the ground trying to track down every American who we have any kind of contact information for. As you know, the cell phones were down, uh, all kinds of difficulties with uh, impassable roads. But uh, we, we are uh, locating Americans. We are evacuating those Americans who wish to leave. We've evacuated some of the injured uh, Americans. Uh, and uh, I want to give you a number, uh, Maggie, okay. so that if people are worried about uh, Americans in Haiti, it's 1-888-407-4747. Uh, please Great. call the that number. The number the president yes. gave us yesterday, and then we put That's it up right. on the screen right now. I just have Good. one more quick Good. question. Has there been any discussion about giving Haitian nationals temporary protective status, allowing them temporarily to uh, have asylum in Florida or elsewhere in this country? Well, we have, as you know, many uh, Haitian Americans. Most are here legally. Some uh, are not documented. Uh, and uh, uh, the Obama administration is taking steps to uh, uh, make sure that people um, are, are given some temporary status so that we don't uh, compound the problem that we face in Haiti. Secretary Clinton. But I, but I, I have to add, Maggie, that you know we, we need uh, the help and the generosity of the American people. We have a, a text messaging system that the State Department set up. It's Haiti, H-A-I-T-I, -I, uh, to 90999. We've raised about $3 million for the Red Cross. That's what's needed right now. Uh, please, uh, if you can, contribute. $10 will be uh, uh, billed to your cell phone, and it's helping us get the food, the water, the medical supplies that we need. Thank you so much for your time, Secretary Clinton. Thank you.